Madam Deputy Speaker. In my community, the winter seasons of the local sporting codes are in full swing, and it has been such fun to attend so many games, rain, hail or shine. However, um, many of our sporting facilities are falling behind modern standards for disability access uh, and gender inclusiveness, despite our hardworking volunteer committees. I will say that many of ours have been upgraded over the last three years, and uh, it has been a privilege to work with uh, those committees um, to get those upgrades over the line. Um, however, there is always more to do, and what we find is that Many of our facilities were built in the 50s, had some renos in the, in the 70s, and now they're in a desperate state of need. Um, and I'd like to thank all the clubs who have approached my office in upgrading their facilities. And a bit of a shout out to the Clarendon Netball Club, who I visited just last Saturday. They have two sheds that are in desperate need, uh, that, that have been flooded, um, that are in no place for an umpire to change. Um, and honestly, if you saw them, they're worse than any garden shed in any suburban home. It's a tough job for volunteers to turn a vision into a viable project. I recognise that. And so I will continue to hold grant writing workshops so we can build our capacity. And to all the clubs in Mayo, I want you to know I will continue to advocate for you, for our projects, uh, and support you in your grant applications. And I'm very keen to continue talking with government on every single one of our projects. Thank you.